the flying bum. In the vegetarian guest house, all was frolic, feast and fun. Eager voices were enquiring, are the nettle cutlets done? Peals of vegetarian laughter, husky, wholesome, wholemeal bread. Will the evening finish with a rush of cocoa to the head? Yes, you've guessed it's Minnie's birthday, hence the frolic, hence the feast. Are there calories in custard? There are vitamins in yeast. Kate is here, and Tom, her hubby, ex-commissioner for oaths. She is mad on Christian science, parsnip flan, he simply loathes. And Mr. Croker, call him Arthur, such a keen philatelist, making sheep's eyes at Louisa. After dinner, they'll be whist. Come, sit down, the soup is coming, all of docks and darnels made. Drink a health to dear old Minnie in synthetic lemonade. Dentures champing, juicy lettuce champing, macerated bran, all oh, the imitation rissoles, all oh, the food untouched by man. Look, an imitation sausage made of monkey nuts and spice, prunes tonight, and semolina, wrinkled prunes, unpolished rice. Yards of guts absorbing jellies, bellies filling up with nuts, carbohydrates jostling proteins out of intestinal ruts. Peristalsis calls for roughage, horns and fibres, husks and grit. Nature's way to open bowels, maybe. Let them practice it. Hark! I hear an air raid warning. Take no notice, let them come. Who will say grace? Another walnut? Listen! What's that distant hum? Bomb or no bomb, stated Minnie. Lips unsoiled by beef or beer we shall use to greet our maker when he sounds the great all clear. When the flying bomb exploded, Minnie's wig flew off her pate, half a curtain like a tippet wrapped itself round bony Kate. Plaster landed on Louisa, Tom fell headlong on the floor, and a spurt of lukewarm custard lathered Mr. Croker's jaw. All were spared by glass and splinters, but the loud explosion passed. Greater was the shock impending even than the shock of blast. Blast, we veterans know, was freakish, gave this feast its final course. Planted bang upon the table a lightly roasted rump of horse. <laughs>